what struck me actually was the title of his message and the thread that went through around the notion of intentionality. And it's a word that I appreciate, particularly in the field working with children because, um, and the focus on the adult, because if we're not intentional about our actions, we can't expect the kind of results that we wanna see both academically and in um, social and emotional learning. And so I was really keyed in when he started with that and thinking about the different ways to, to think about how that plays out in the SEL space um, and what it is that we need to do as adults to create the conditions that are necessary for children because it's pretty tangible. There are um, skills that are required for literacy and numeracy um, that you have to teach and that you have to create environments for students to learn and I think we need to think about that as educators and youth workers. What are those skills that we need to have to be able to convey the skills that we wanna see in our children? Um, what do we need to do to get proficient around that? We expect people to know math, to teach math. And so what are we expected to know to be able to um, convey the information that we want to convey to our children? And lastly, I would say um, just being able to have that juxtaposition of taught and caught um, was really helpful because, again, I think about it as how do we translate what we're learning around SEL um, and what we know about teaching and learning to create the most rich experience for our children. And so if that's the case, then, again, it's pretty tangible what you know you have to teach. There are standards out there around that. And I know there's work to create SEL standards as well. Um, but that notion of caught what are the what are the what are our ways of being as adults that we are projecting to our children